So today I'm here with Stipe Bralica. He's a former student of this school. He finished it four years ago and while he was here he got into singing and continued with that after he finished it. So today we are going to talk about it for a bit. So Stipe, can you tell me what drew you in the, to the music industry and how did it all start? Uh, actually it all started when I was uh, first year elementary school. Uh, I wasn't very into it, but, but my whole family is very musical, mm -hmm. so, uh, so my mother, she, I wouldn't say she forced me, but she, she guided me to, to start a musical school, and I, I started with the piano, and after that I, I started playing a little guitar also as well, and I, I, I did sing, I did mm -hmm. sing as well, but, uh, but it, it wasn't professional until the, the, the band we started. So that's, that's how it all started and it continues to this day, yeah. So you have, a, you have a band, Spiritual Corner. Can you tell me something more about the band? Okay, so Sp Spiritual Corner, or in Croatian, Duhovi Kutak. Yeah. You can check us out on YouTube. Uh, actually, it all started in, in, in this very school, in, 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 our, in my high school. Uh, and the band was very, it was all very unplanned. Uh, we all, all kind of, we all kind of uh, just, just we all just started being friends, and uh, we were just getting around with music and stuff. And uh, Professor Anush, uh, he's professor and also mm -hmm. in this high school, he kind of put us together. Uh, he has also very, he's very poetic, so he can mm -hmm. he writes music, and then we then we convert it into notes and and, mm -hmm. and, 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 uh, and, and songs as well. And uh, that's how it all actually started. He mm -hmm. put us together, me, my sister, uh, actually, uh, actually all except one girl. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we studied at this high school, so mm -hmm. it's very cool. Do you write songs or like? Uh, no, no. I just write music. He mm -hmm. he writes the lyrics, oh. and I and then I put it in a song, mm -hmm. so so to speak. Yeah. Okay, and has something uh, inspired you, uh, like really inspired you to start a band? Was it an idea or it's kind of just the common? No, it was just like everything was very natural. We, we started playing here at high school uh, through some, I don't know, through some uh, shows that we held during the, I don't know, Christmas or mm -hmm. Valentine's Day as, yeah. as you all have right now as well. And uh, we started uh, recording music in the studio, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Professor Anush thought it would be a cool idea to put it on YouTube, and people really liked that, and so we continued doing that as well. Okay. Yeah. And what is your favorite part about this whole line of work you do? Uh, it's very, uh, it's very, I don't know how, to, it's very fulfilling, mm -hmm. because uh, I, I don't consider myself that I'll be that I would be so much in music industry. I consider myself as an economist, which I'm, which I'm faculty of, student, as a student. Uh, but this is a big part of my life, and uh, I'm very grateful that I, that I can express myself uh, doing this with my band and, and writing music and writing lyrics. And, and it's very fulfilling, as I said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And do you have any least favorites about it? Uh, least favorites? Uh, as the as the band grows, mm -hmm. which is very natural, we have a lot more shows, which is sometimes uh, not very good with my schedule because I have, I have to uh, I have to study, I have to go to my faculty, I have to go to my university, and I have uh, other obligations which I'm used to do it. But uh, as the band grows, we have a lot more activities, uh, you know, that that binds up with it, that binds up with that, and. I don't know. Maybe that's the, that's my not. I would say least favorite, but I didn't expect that, so it's like kind of unexpected. Oh, yeah. 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 To be expected. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite song out of those you you all put together? Uh, actually, I have, but it's not not mine. Mm -hmm. It's a friend of mine's, and uh, I don't know what's what's the name of it. <laughs> and I w I wouldn't sing it right now. So, my, but yes, I have, mm -hmm. and it's not it's not mine. It's, it's Wow. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. Um, you said you perform. Uh, how often is that? Uh, we usually perform once a week. Where? Uh, it, it can depend actually. Mm -hmm. 
We we go to we go to a lot of festivals. Uh, we we're 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 in the business of spiritual music. So uh, so actually uh, music that is connected by Christianity, and uh, we do a lot of festivals. Uh, we do a lot of. Uh, we started doing a lot of wedding ceremonies. Uh, we do a, a, and that kind of shows, you know. And uh, actually, we're just uh, we're just starting to do also a lot of uh, a lot of other music, not not just spiritual music. And so that's our plan. So we're going to see what, what, what it takes us. Yeah. Have you have you ever gone outside of Croatia, or if not, if, are you uh, considering it? So far, no. But we have. Uh, we have a lot of calls, especially from Italy. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. They wanna, they wanna bring us to the to the Vatican, to the Vatican, yeah. and they want us to do a perform there. And so that's plan. We'll see if, if we're gonna if yeah. we're gonna do it or not. But that's plan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I hope it comes true. Yeah, Thank you. Comes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you ever dealt with performance anxiety? And if so, how, how do you deal with it? Uh, in the beginning, maybe yes, but. I would say it was a more positive anxiety, if you can say so, mm -hmm. because uh, I'm a I'm a very extrovertal person, mm -hmm. so I'm not I'm not afraid of, of performance or that or that kind of stuff because I'm actually very used to it. So mm -hmm. it was kind of natural for for me to do it. So I wouldn't say I wouldn't say now at all, but maybe in the beginning a little bit. Oh well, that's normal. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you have something you would add, uh, want to advise to someone who is interested in following your footsteps? Uh, of course, yeah. If if you can, th if you think you can do it, just do it. And uh, but you have to, you have to be, you have to be good. Otherwise, people won't, you, you know, yeah. won't listen to your music. So, and that's what it's all about. And uh, but you can still do it. You never know. Maybe you have one hit, two hit. You never know. Yeah. So yeah, the I wouldn't say our, every our song is a hit, but <laughs> yeah, so, you know. Yeah. And to sum this up, uh, what do you want in general for people to take away from your music? Uh, whatever they want. Uh, as I said, it's a spiritual music and uh, we do it at a, at a church especially. Mm -hmm. And uh, and whatever whatever you're dealing with, whatever every every of those song can can touch you in a spiritual way, and uh, and you can take of it whatever you want, whatever you're feeling sad about or anxious about or I don't know whatever about. It. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, and that's it for uh, this little interview. <laughs> Thank you for your time and. Go.